Yo, what's going on, boys here? Today I'm bringing you guys another comparison video between the Bullfrog and Mac 10. And I wanted to make this comparison because right now, currently in the state of Warzone, or I guess I should say the SMG state of Warzone, um, it's currently like a toss up because a lot of people are leaning towards the OTS nowadays, which is kind of interesting because me personally, I don't really see the hype around the OTS. I really don't think the OTS is that. Oh, it's good. It's obviously a good SMG, but I don't think it's like. The best SMG. I still believe like the Mac 10 and Bullfrog to be superior. You know, obviously I might just be kind of blinded. Um, I don't know. I just didn't have the good or the best experience with the OTS, and so you know I've been rocking with the Bullfrog, the Mac 10. Um, but you know, again, that's just me. Um, and today I'm bringing you guys why I think the Bullfrog is the best SMG, and I'm comparing it to the Mac 10 because the Mac 10 is like the most reliable SMG that has came out of Warzone over the course of. The integration every season it's always at the top and uh, right now i would even argue it's like a top three smg but before we do get into it i want to say if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button we're on the road to 2000 we're like what, 180 away 170 away um and, uh, yeah man with that being said let's get into the person and here we have the recoil pattern for the bullfrog as you guys can see here obviously not the most complicated patterns but to be honest like even if it had a complicated pattern i it wouldn't have mattered because in this game Recoil is non-existent for every weapon. Um, SMGs are not an exception to that. And there's a lot of SMGs that are able to do things at long range. With the Bullfrog being at the top of that. The Bullfrog, in my opinion, is probably the best uh, SMG AR hybrid. Where like it literally is very usable at range. Um, you could literally substitute this as an AR. Because this weapon hits. It hits like that. Obviously, it's not going to compare to damage to an AR at certain ranges. But it still has the capabilities of being... That solid long range option because you know it's easy to control, uh, it has no recoil, and the damage is pretty solid at range. Which the Mag 10 is the same, is the same except for the damage. Like the damage is a little bit on the weaker side. Um, when we get into the stats, you'll see why. But it's still a good weapon at range, and both of them are just very reliable. And in my opinion, are uh, one of the reasons why they're much better than the OTS because they just have that range aspect. Yeah, obviously. At range or close range, the OTS shines a lot because it has a lot of damage and it's pretty, you know, has a pretty decently fire, fast fire rate. Um, really good at just close range engagements. A lot of people, that's probably why a lot of people like it, but like, I don't know. For me, SMGs are a weapon of like, of close range and also medium to long range. Like, I want to have the ability to um, just have that range with my SMG, which, you know, I know it sounds kind of silly because it is an SMG and that's what you're using the AR for, but. That's just me. That's how I like to play, and that's how I like to use my SMGs. And not to mention that the OTS only has 40 bullets, whereas the Mac and Bullfrog have 53 round mags, 65 round mags, and 85 round mags, respectively. And that's just like so much. Like extra bullets are so good, you know. I just want to have those extra bullets to spare in case I'm not having the best accuracy. Then with the OTS, you know, I miss a lot of bullets, and you know, sometimes I just the 40 round just lets me down because you know. My aim isn't all there. Whereas the Mac 10 and Bullfrog, you know what I'm saying? I got a plenty of bullets to spare, and I'm able to you know, not worry about missing shots because I'm good. Not to mention, again, there's like no recoil, very very accurate weapons. And to be honest, I, man, I understand why the OTS is getting a lot of love right now. Um, but once the, like, if the OTS gets enough, which it probably will be, to be honest, I think at this point, like, no gun is safe. If any gun starts out really performing well, just expect it to get nerfed. That's just at this point, like that's what they do now. And even if weapons that don't do good, even if they just get overused slightly, like it's gonna get nerfed. And I wouldn't be surprised in the reloaded update that's coming out like next week. Um, it's gonna probably receive a damage nerf or maybe a f something else. But you know, just just be on the lookout for that because if you're using the OTS now and that's like your main SMG, which is fine, obviously, because the gun itself is, you know, yeah, a really good at SMG. But yeah, it's probably gonna be receiving a nerf pretty soon, in my opinion, considering. The track record that Raven has, like, they're probably gonna, you know, tweak it a little bit. But with that being said, man, let's get into the max slash stats. And here we have the recall pattern for the max 10, which, as you guys can see, obviously, again, a very simple pattern. But at the end of the day, we already know it doesn't really matter because when you put on attachments and whatnot, this gun is a beamer. And even, or I guess now with the addition of the underbarrel, which, you know, I, I, I've been rocking a Mac 10 with no underbarrel for a little bit, but I decided to go back to the underbarrel, and the gun is insanely good. Um, what can I say? Overreliable. Literally, the gun that's been here since the beginning of the integration never really faded out of the meta. Um, you might disagree with me on that, but I swear every, every season, every update, every tweet, like, this gun is always, like, the weapon that somehow just finds a way to beat the meta. Um, but anyways... The first that I want, to, the first thing that I want to talk about, which is going to be overwhelmingly 
advantageous for the Mac 10. If you, you know, kept track of or have been around for a little bit and, you know, know me, have seen one of my Mac 10 comparison videos, you will know this stat right here, man, is it's insane. So we're going to start off with the fire rate for both of these weapons. For the Volvo, we have a 751 RPM, whereas the Mac 10 has a 1118 RPM. And, I mean, that difference right there, over 300, it's pretty significant. However, the one thing that helps the Bullfrog, you know, be in competition, or I guess I should say the Mac, because the Mac in this situation gets heavily out damaged, but it's just that the fire rate helps it compete. And that's, I think, the reason why it's been able to just stay alive throughout the season, because the fire rate is so fast that no matter how much damage you're putting out, you're just shooting really fast with the Mac 10. And all the weapons that are close to the Mac 10 in terms of fire rate aren't really the you know the crazy like the CX9, the Fennec. Those weapons like have their flaws and aren't extremely the greatest. And they're pretty good, but the Mac 10 somehow finds a way to outshine both of them. Anyways, moving on to the damage the stat that the Bullfrog actually leads in. We have for zero to thirteen meters for the Bullfrog, forty-six damage to head. 31 to the neck, stomach, and chest, and the neck actually is a new portion that they added on the True Game Data website. Uh, to be honest though, I don't think the neck really is important because I feel like the neck and stomach kind of correlate to each other in terms of damage. Obviously, they're not the same part of body, but they are the same in damage. And the extremities at 27, which are the hands and limbs. And then over on the Mac 10 side, he has 0 to 15.5 meters, 28 damage to the head. 22 to the neck, chest, and stomach, and then 20 to the extremities. Obviously, a huge mismatch in the close range department. However, or in terms of damage, I should say, because the Mac 10 has the obvious firing um, capabilities and the Bullfrog has the obvious damage capabilities. And how I don't know, but in this situation, like I think both weapons are have their own thing going on in close range deck. It's gonna come down to a lot of factors in this situation. Like, I honestly don't think that stats could really tell a whole story in terms of gunfight. Just because you have one gun um, that you think is advantageous statistically doesn't mean you're gonna be able to, you know, win your gunfights against certain weapons. Like for example, if I had the bullfrog right and I went up against a Mac 10 at close range, who's to say I'm gonna win? Just because I have more damage, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, if I miss a few shots, the Mac 10 could punish me on that. Like there's a lot of factors that could go into certain gunfights. So I'm like. Stats to me, yeah, I like giving out stats because it kind of gives you a rough idea of what is better statistically. But at the end of the day, like in game, they perform differently under various factors. Um, and that also includes guns like the OTS because the OTS has 40 bullets, but it does enough damage, pretty fast to fire. And it's just there's so many factors that go into these gunfights. And I mean, you guys are obviously aware of this, but I wanted to put that in there so you guys you know kind of understood some things uh, better. Uh, but anyways, for 13 plus meters for the bullfrog, we have 37 damage to the head. 25 to the neck, chest, and stomach, and the 22 to extremities. Again, you know, pretty solid damage. Pretty much the same damage that the Mac 10 does at close range, um, except for the headshots. And then for 15.5 meters and above for the Mac, we have 22 to the head, 19 to the neck, 19, my bad, to the neck, chest, and stomach, and then 17 to extremities. So obviously there again a damage differential, but in this situation, I don't think it has to do any like fire rate or damage because. Like, the bullfrog is just better at long range. Sincerely, it just is. Um, I mean, listen, it's better at cl or long range because it's just easier to control. I feel like with the Mac 10, like it's not fully, fully like no recoil. Yeah, it obviously feels like it, but mm, yeah, there's still a little bit of recoil there, still a little bit of uneasiness on that side of things. But the bullfrog, like the bullfrog, is uh, like a very, very low recoil. And I think it just I want to credit that to the. Low fire rate because the low fire rate makes it so it's a lot, you know, less like jumpy as like the Mike. Like the Mike isn't too jumpy, but you know, you could, you know, in certain situations you could lose a little bit of control. Whereas the bullfrog, it's a laser, literally does not move, and it doesn't make any sense because no recoil and a high damage. I don't understand why this gun doesn't get nerfed a little bit more. I feel like the bullfrog is a little bit too much. Actually, mm, maybe not so much. Uh, I don't know. I'm talking crazy because I do not want guns to get nerfed. I don't want guns to become completely useless because. To be honest, right now, the state of Warzone and the metas are kind of weird, and I don't want more uncertainty on either side. I mean, yeah, it gives me content, but, like, like me playing the game, like, if guys are getting nerfed left and right, like, man, it's just, it's a pain trying to figure out what's good and what's not good and what's usable, what's not usable. And right now, it's kind of like a weird area right now, because, I mean, yeah, the OTS shining above everyone, but in reality, I don't even think it's the best SMG, but I think people just... I want to have something to call the best SMG, and in my opinion, I think the Bullfrog is it, the best SMG. Um, you know, obviously, people have their own personal preferences, personal rankings, 
Um, but I, you know, I consider it to be obviously a top three. It's been the top three for a while now. Um, but yeah, man, I guess that's it. Um, let me know what you guys think about the Bullfrog and Mac 10 currently in the state of Warzone. Um, right now, I just feel like it's, again, a weird time that we're going through. I think we're all just kind of waiting for Vanguard, but we still have a few months for that. Um, and yeah, man, let me know your personal rankings of SMGs. Like, where do you guys rank the LTS? I'm curious to see how many of you guys who watch my videos actually, like, use the LTS and consider it the number one SMG. But anyways, man, thank you guys watching. See you guys later, and I'm out. Peace. One, one more, one more. Let's go, man!